here's where you're going to think that I am nuts. I have created a spreadsheet that has every item in my house and the width, height, depth, and the cubic feet of each one of these items. And whether or not I'm going to ship it, I also marked it so that it red is I'm not going to ship it, X, I'm not going to ship it. Of course, here I say ship. And that's is either, either in white or in green. So ships are white or green. And the estimated cost to ship that item, if I were to ship it, uh, the replacement value on that item, it's kind of just, I started to do something with replacement values just to see if it was worth to buy it in Hawaii or to keep this item. And uh, percentage, that's just going to be the cost to ship versus the replacement value. And I have some totals here. <clears throat> and I'll explain those in a little bit. Also, I put a new microphone in here. You're still going to see me kind of jumpy on my webcam. I suppose I should get a better webcam. But I put this microphone here because I hated the way the last video sounded. So this is my Neumann microphone and uh, an icicle. It's connected to USB. I have a preamp. I have a preamp that I can use as well, but this is going to do just fine. So let me explain what these things mean. The location is either Mark's bedroom, Sherry's bedroom, living room, two locations. Here's a hallway and living room. And that's really just to remind me where the thing is so I can find it and, and uh, know which ones are what. Actually, I did create an original view of this. Um, and this is the, oh, sorry, the starting one here. Let's make this a little bigger so we can see it. And there are some items in purple. These are things that we've already gotten rid of. So I just have one spreadsheet that is everything when I originally measured it, um, minus a few lines I, I deleted. But I decided I didn't really want to delete all the lines. I wanted to see where I started and where I ended up. So this sheet here, I am keeping just for reference. And I'm editing this sheet here that has all the dimensions of everything. So as I remove things from each line item here, it will affect the totals. The first thing on the list that you'll see here is my bed, box spring, and frame. It is 62 cubic feet, which is pretty big. And I'm not going to ship it. I've decided that because I figured out the cost to ship this is $666. And this is based on the fact that I've decided to go with UPAC. Here's pods. It is going to cost $5,000 total for pods and it, it has 368 cubic feet and you pack ha is going to cost 3,600 and it has 336 cubic feet per their pods and you can have multiple of these but we're going to try to do everything not try to we're going to do everything into one so figure out what it is per cubic feet and you come up with a ratio of how much it's going to cost so you can do the ratio of the total cost versus the cubic feet, and I put that over here, and I know that my spreadsheet is kind of all over the place, but I did it because I wanted to keep things kind of grouped together where they where they belong. Anyway, so this is just a blank cell for the most part. So this cell, as you can see in Excel, it highlights that, so it's just uh, 014 divided by L14, and so it comes up with this number here, which is $10.71 per cubic feet. So this number here, is the product of the cubic feet times 1071. And if we go down the list, we can, we if we go down the list, you can see that um, the cost of each item of what it costs to ship. And what I wanted to do is have the replacement value here so that I can, I can look at the difference here and I can see this one costs $200, so it's gonna cost 100 bucks to ship. So I guess my desk is worth shipping. Uh, Sherry has a foot locker, probably costs 500 to replace. It's going to cost $81 to ship. That's the reason why we have the replacement value to make this comparison. So what have I learned here? Well, I've uh, sorted by cost to ship or cubic feet. It's going to be the same um, in terms of the sort. And I've made decisions like this box spring and frame is going to cost $666 to ship based on this cubic feet and uh, price for UPAC. And I could probably buy a bed and box spring or a futon or something that will be quite a bit less than that. In fact, I could probably buy two futons for the price of that. Um, Sherry's bed, she has got a king bed, is actually smaller than my bed because she doesn't have a box spring. But that's um, nearly $600, sort of the same thing there. I think we might have spent, 
it might have been close to a thousand dollars for her bed same thing with mine but um i can't remember but we can work with that so the couch 579 to ship the couch you know i like the couch sherry doesn't like the couch she wants to get rid of it anyway so i guess we're getting rid of it our clothing i don't know that we can really get rid of our clothing what we've decided to do is take as much clothing as possible with us when we are flying so i don't know if we're able to get all of this but we should be able to get a good portion of it with the two flights that we're flying to hawaii there will be baggage charges but that's not going to be as much as what it would cost to ship i mean here 410 and 210 for our clothing i don't think that it's going to cost that baggage charges we might take three bags total so that's going to be under a hundred dollars for each bag so maybe we'll spend two hundred dollars on um on our checked luggage the recliners we have two recliners i don't know and everything that's in white there's still decisions to be made about whether we're going to ship it or keep it or how we're going to deal with this now we haven't rented the apartment yet so do we don't even know if this is a furnished place or what so some of these things we can decide oh well you know what it's furnished so we don't need the recliners or the furniture's better or worse or however we want to deal with it but we don't even know at this point so we would like to keep the recliners they're kind of cool you know we like them uh, you saw it in a previous vlog so um they're wooden uh the bookcase sherry's bookcase the living room it's going i have a windsurfer it's pretty old but you know i'm going to hawaii i want to keep my windsurfer come on uh sherry's desk it's an old desk she needs to get rid of it towels and blankets we probably need to thin this out it's 12 cubic feet anyway etc so on you don't need to see the whole list um well you can look at it here it is how many items do i have on this list 165 some of these things i'm putting on ebay that's a whole other story some of them we're donating them um everything in red we're getting rid of obviously anything with red or an x here getting rid of these numbers here this 642 represents the total amount of cubic feet that is currently in this list 361 is what we're currently taking that's everything in white or green and 361 is not bad we need to get down to this 336 and at some point this is going to become more real in terms of the actual dimensions this is how much we've gotten rid of or what we're planning on getting rid of not we haven't removed these things yet i still have my bed etc but this is the stuff that's getting rid of it's just sort of informational and then this is the cubic feet for U usps that we're going to send via the postal service and there are two items essentially we're sending the first is this box of books um this is 10 almost 11 actually 11 cubic feet of books and the cost to ship is 116 if if we were to put it in the container and of course it takes up more space and we need to conserve the space we have inside of this container um, let's ship it usps and um, what i've found is that these books cost 170 dollars to ship total it is more by a little about 50 bucks it is more to ship via the post office than it is to put in the container but we don't have enough room for the container and if we were to upgrade the container if we look at these two prices upgrade the container to a larger container from pods it's going to you know our price is going to go up substantially almost by a thousand dollars so it's worth it to ship this um these boxes via um, the post office and these boxes are going to be shipped via media mail there's rules around it but essentially these books have to be published books and that's pretty much the general rule of thumb for media mail some kind of published book um, or educational material or if there's a leaflet it has to do with the educational material in the book that kind of thing so these books all um, comply with that and then you can see also i have this lighting kit i have a bunch of uh, tungsten lights for filmmaking and it's in a it's in an airy um container and um, that's a brand name and uh, i can ship this container um, as one unit it'll probably cost a hundred dollars to ship and this is off its line let me just fix this up i won't fix the other one so this will probably cost $71 if we were to put it in the container or $100 via the post office. 
So that's essentially the um, the plan for the container and how we're going to get this down. It's going to be close. Like I've shown you here, we're down to 261, right? And if we just simply didn't bring the recliners, those are that'll be 32 feet. So that'll bring it down to 300. You know, that'll bring it down into the 336 range that we need. This, of course, is my measuring of everything. So we don't really know exactly how big these things really are. This is kind of a guesstimate. I think it's think they're right. I mean, I used a tape measure to measure them all. But um, until you start tetrising them in, you don't really know if they're going to fit exactly perfectly in the in the container. We're going to do our best. So we'll either leave the recliners to last or put them near the front so that if things get a little tight, we can always pull them out and save some space that way. Also, I'm not sure if this 16 cubic feet is really accurate because there is a lot of space around the recliners. There's a seat and then there's some space underneath the recliner and we might be able to jam a bunch of stuff around this thing. Okay, well, the next video, I am going to uh, book the car for the shipment.